I love most about Singapore is actually Singlish. Because um, wherever, whenever you go abroad uh, traveling, and then you hear a Singaporean speak, immediately you know that that's a fellow Singaporean. And in fact, the accent is, I can even tell between a Malaysian and a Singaporean. And uh, when we speak Singlish, there are things that are, uh, you can say something, one word or two words that mean so much, uh, and it connotes so many things, and you can really communicate with each other. So, uh, of course, you know, I've always been told that, you know, you cannot speak uh, Singlish, you must speak proper English and everything, but really I think this is uniquely Singaporean, and I love it. Uh, okay, to me, uh, being a Singaporean is uh, really to act, uh, okay, first of all, I think that Singapore, Singapore uh, is made up of people from, uh, whose ancestors come from many different parts of Asia. India, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, you know, China, and uh, so we have a, a varied heritage. And uh, when we uh, came together, you find that uh, there's this kampong spirit where uh, Malays can speak Hokkien and Chinese can speak Malay and even Indians can speak Cantonese and all that. So I, I love this kind of breaking down of barriers uh, where you know you, you don't really uh, care, uh, you know what kind of so-called race you are. Uh, I, I I grew up in Katong, and uh, I come from Katong Convent School, and really my school has all kinds of different uh, you know so-called races. I don't like the word races, but uh, backgrounds, and uh, we all, we all could talk to each other and. Uh, I didn't really know, you know, whether you're Malay or Chinese or Eurasian or Indian. I don't really know. It's only later on that I was, when you know, I, I when they say, oh, you are this, you are that, you know, you are like Chinese, Indian, Malay, Eurasian. But in the, when growing up, the time, you know, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, definitely, my I'm the proudest uh, of of my decision, my husband, and my I, I's decision to have four children. Um, you must know that uh, there was a lot of pressure, uh, I would say, I mean, it's kind of like social pressure, if you like, that uh, every time you get pregnant, people are saying, oh my goodness, how can, oh dear, you know, instead of saying that, you know, how wonderful you're pregnant, it's like, how people come and tell you, like, oh, how are you going to cope, and, you, you know, you have so many things, juggling and everything, and then you're going to have so many children, and they kind of give me sympathy, and, uh, and, they, and they say that, you know, uh, like, I'm going to in for a really hard time, you know, and then, of course, I went on to have, three, two, three, four, and people are like shocked and, and they give me this very, very worried look, you know. And uh, I did feel like I was being very irresponsible to have so many children at one time, you know. Uh, but really this is all the social pressures against having children. And I like to say, Sam, that my greatest regret is that I didn't, I bowed, in a way I can say I bowed to these social pressures and I stopped at four. <laughs> And I really regret because I wish I could have, I wish I, went, I had the courage to go on to have more children. Um, but I think the time, you know, the, by that time it was past, uh, you know, and so I, I, I end up with just four. As you know, I grew up in Katong. And um, I, well, I was really excited uh, about my decision to stand as a candidate for Mountbatten because most part of Mountbatten is really uh, what is we all know as Katong. And in fact, I grew up in Katong and I have very fond memories of uh, my childhood in Katong. Uh, the thing, uh, the, just the unique, uniqueness of Katong is that it is a place where you have many different communities uh, living together but all under uh, you know, one kampong spirit if you like. Uh, and that's why in Kato you, you, you will see uh, food that comes from a variety of kinds of food just to show you that the variety of people living here. And um, so my constituency plan is entitled Reviving the Kampong Spirit. I want to evoke and uh, revive that Kampong Spirit of neighborliness, of uh, community bonding uh, and uh, and, and this is the, 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 the concept behind my community plans. Uh, would you like me to just uh, elaborate more on, on that? Yeah. A main feature, I would say, of my constituency plan is uh, 
open dialogue sessions, uh, what you call town hall meetings. This will be uh, in addition to the, the uh, meet the people session. Uh, these town hall meetings uh, will be uh, a chance for residents to come together to identify issues uh, of concern and to bring out ideas uh, to solve these problems. Uh, these issues can be local issues, like for example, uh, chronic flooding in uh, Tanjung Ru or uh, sorry, Tanjung Katong or uh, Mayor Road. It could be uh, like you know, um, building a lighted crossing at Kampung Arang. Or it could be uh, uh, issues which concern all Mountbatten residents. And um, the, so uh, we could have these town hall meetings in the location uh, located in, in where the, the, uh, the residents are, or it can be where the, all the residents come together uh, to discuss. And uh, what I want to uh, do in these meetings is, is to empower the residents to um, you know, own these issues and to uh, move uh, the finding of the develop the, the solutions for them, for, for for to solve such issues. I hope to have uh, such town hall meetings on a regular basis, certainly at least maybe about four times a year, okay, um, and and more frequently if if uh, if if there are specific needs that need uh, more attention. Now the other thing is that uh, I have got. Um, I mean, before coming up with this uh, community plan, we have spoken to established agencies who have pledged their support for these programs. So, therefore, I'm able to come to uh, bring out uh, uh, career development clinics, healthcare awareness and education workshops, financial awareness and education uh, workshops, legal awareness. Uh, and, and, and free legal clinics. Now, these uh, programs uh, are meant to serve all uh, sectors of Mountbatten. So for example, okay, uh, financial consulting and financial awareness. Of course, if you are uh, facing financial problems, certainly such uh, clinics or workshops would be, would be something that you really need. But even, you know, young people who are starting, started, starting out their career, uh, people who have not, who have stopped working and, and want to go back to the workforce, I think financial, man, money management and financial planning are issues which, uh, you know, Singaporeans of every sector uh, will benefit from such uh, awareness uh, initiatives. Similarly, right, uh, for career development, uh, you know, you, you if you are starting a new business or you are you are a job seeker, uh, you know you how to write a good resume, how to personal grooming and uh, and and things which will help uh, career uh, uh, options or to to give uh, career diversity options. These are things that everybody can benefit. Okay, um, needless to say. Uh, uh, legal uh, uh, awareness. I mean, there's uh, no need to feel uh, stressed and, and anxious because you are unsure of uh, the, the, the your legal rights and remedies. And uh, you know, you don't always have to go to see a lawyer and, and pay a lo uh, pay for legal fees. Uh, you know, whenever you have this, uh, you know, legal issues. Um, so we we want to also to uh, roll out these uh, legal awareness uh, programs too. So these are programs which I hope will cater to a broad sector of residents in Mountbatten. I have uh, many friends who, my school friends, uh, they all live in and around Makatong also. And uh, so hanging out with my friends in Katong, going to their house, spending time with them, you know, uh, sharing our uh, woes and uh, happiness. These are, are very fond childhood memories uh, and um, I, I think that this is something that's very memorable to me. Till now, you find that uh, a lot of my friends, even after they get married, 
uh, they will still come and look for their matrimonial home in and around Katong and they don't stay very far away. Uh, also, of course, the other thing is my parents still live in Katong and uh, my, my friends still remember going to my house in Katong uh, to hang out with me and uh, so I think these are, these are uh, you know, precious memories. Um, to me, the most important relationship is uh, my marriage. Uh, through that, uh, if I, my marriage is good, I think I can provide a good home for my children and I can be a good mother to my children if, uh, you know, with my husband and I working together for this to provide a home for the children. And um, the other thing is that, um, uh, you know, so I, I would say that um, my family uh, is really uh, the most important, uh, my role as a wife and mother uh, is the most important uh, relationship and the most important uh, role that I, I have. One thing I love about Mountbatten is that it has got very good food. Um, I have my little favourites, like I, I, I love the pao and the uh, dim sum at uh, Kampong Ara. I, I really like it a lot. They also have very good wonton mee. Uh, there's very good duck rice in uh, Tanjung Katong. And not to mention um, Chak Kwe Tiao uh, in uh, Old Airport Road. Uh, but I think uh, what, what, beyond the taste of food, I think pe people feel most comfortable and uh, the food tastes best when you're eating in a familiar environment where you have got uh, the, I mean, you can meet people where you eat, the people that you know and then, uh, you know, where, where you can sit down with your friends uh, and enjoy a meal together. I think, I think the, the, this is something which really enhance, enhances the taste of food. <laughs> so like, for example, um, I enjoy going to the, a small uh, food court uh, which is located between block 13 and block 21 in Old Airport Road because uh, you see the you know similar uh, you know like familiar faces whenever you go there uh, and uh, so it's it's nice to, uh, to 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 hang out there.